In this video is going to be going to be adding and subtracting fractions with negatives. So go ahead and take out your homework sheet, which looks like this. Okay, and we're going to do six of these problems together, and then you have four to do at the bottom. Okay. We're going to first review some of our rules um, for adding and subtracting with negatives. Rules for adding with negatives. We're going to use the same sign sum, and then uh, we have different signs, difference. So same sign sum means addition, different sign difference, we're going to use subtraction. And then for our rule for subtracting with negatives, is we change the subtraction problem into an addition problem. And then we can follow the rules for addition to solve it. So let's go ahead and begin. We're looking at something that is familiar to us. This is... Um, this is a problem where we have like fractions. And the reason they are alike is because their denominators are the same number. Okay, this is a problem that we've been going for several several years now. Okay, when we add, we can we can stack them or we can just go ahead and add them going straight across. I'm gonna go ahead and stack them. Okay, so when we add, we've got common denominators, so we can just add their numerator. This is going to be equal to 5 eighths. Okay? And then um, let's look here at ones that are new to us. This is more um, a more advanced problem because it has a negative sign in here. There are still two fractions. We're going to apply the rule. This is a different sign difference. So when we stack them, we have to decide which fraction is the larger fraction so we put it on the top. Okay, and if you look at here, one half and one third. One half is our larger fraction, so we're going to put that in on top. So go ahead and write that one first. And then, since they're different signs, we're going to be subtracting them. This is going to be minus one third. Okay, now we have to come up with a common denominator the LCD, which was in video point two. We've got to come up with a common denominator between 2 and 3. Okay, if we list this out, I'll just do it for this problem. We got 2, 4, 6. And for 3, we get 3 and 6. So our LCD is 6. So we're going to put 6 down here and 6 down here for the denominators. Now, we ask ourselves, what did we do? What can we what multiplication problem can we do? 3 times what number gives us 6? Well, 2. So we got to take our numerator times that same number so that we keep equivalent or equal fractions. And then to do this one, we ask ourselves 2 times what gives us 6? Well, it's 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So we got to multiply the numerator by 3. So this will be 1 times 3, which is 3. Okay. Now we can go ahead and subtract them. 3 take away 2 is going to be 1. And the denominators don't change, they stay the same. So our answer is going to be 1 to 6. Okay, let's continue here and let's look at problem number 3. We're taking negative 1 fourth plus negative 1 third. Okay, this is a same signs sum. Okay, since we're taking the sum, it doesn't matter which fraction we put on top. Okay. So we're just going to put the, um, the 1 4 on top, and we're going to add the 1 third. Now we know that our answer, a negative plus a negative, is going to give us a negative answer. So the thing that we have to do is come up with a common denominator between 4 and 3. So go ahead and you can work it out if you need to. Okay, It's going to be 4, 8, 12. And then here we're going to do 3, not, uh, 3, 3, 6, 9, and 4. Okay, I know that our common denominator is 12. So let's put 12 down here. 4 times 3 gives us 12. So 1 times 3 will give us 3 twelfths. And here we're multiplying by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So 1 times 4 is 4 twelfths. Okay, now we're going to add that. So we're going to add 3 and 4. And then we get 7 over 12. So our answer is negative 7 12. 
Right, let's take a look here at problem number four. We're doing two and one fourth minus five and two sevenths. Okay. Now we need to put it since it is subtraction. We're going to add its opposite. Now we have a different sign difference problem. Okay. Now when we stack them, we got to put the, the fraction. Think of them as I guess pretty positive fractions. We gotta put the one with more pieces on top and more parts and pieces on top. So we're gonna put this one on top. So it's gonna be five and two sevenths. And we're going to different signs, different. So we're going to subtract two and one. Now we know that we have more negatives than positive, so our answer is going to be negative. Now we just have to come up with a common denominator between 7 and 4. Okay? And if we do that, we're going to see that our common denominator is 28. The common denominator is 28. Well, 4 times 7 gives us 28, so 1 times 7 is 7. And then here we're going to multiply by 4. 7 times 4 is 28, so 2 times 4 is 8. So now if we have 8 and we take it away, 7, we're going to get 1, 28, and then 5, take away 2, is 3. So our answer comes down to be um, negative 3 and 1. Let's continue here. Let's take a look here at problem number 5. Okay, again, we have subtraction, so we're going to add opposite. Now we have that same sign sum. Since this addition, since we're going to use same sign sum, it doesn't matter which way we stack it. But I always like to put the mixed number on top if I have um, a mixed number plus a proper fraction. So it's going to be plus 12. Yes. Okay. Now I have two negatives and I'm adding them. So my answer I know is going to be negative. Okay. So now I have to come up with a common denominator between uh, sorry, get ahead of myself there. Between three and five. Common denominator between three and five is going to be fifteen. So I multiply this by five, and so I multiply the numerator by five. That's going to be five fifteenths. And here I multiply by three, and I take twelve times three and get twelve fifteenths. And I add those two together. 5 and 12 make 17, 15. And then 2, and I have nothing. So my answer becomes negative 2 and 7 15. Well, 7 15 is one is an improper fraction. So I gotta figure out how many pieces, how many pieces can I take out of 17, how many 15s can I take out of that, which is 1. So if I take 1 out, I'm gonna have negative 3. And it's going to be 15 or 17 take away 15. I'm going to have two pieces left over. So it'll be negative 3 and 2 15. Okay, let's continue here and look at number 6. Okay, 6. Get only has subtraction, so I have to add opposite. Now the same signs. Negative. Okay. So as I'm adding them, it doesn't matter which way I put what which order to put them. So I'm just put three and one half on top. And it's going to be plus five and two thirds. Okay, and I know I'm adding a negative and a negative, so my answer is going to be negative. So now I have to come up with common denominators between two and three. Well, I knew that from the previous problem, which is six. I uh, took 2 times 3 to get 6, so 1 times 3 is 3. And then 3 times 2 is 6, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'm going to add those numerators together. 3 and 4 make 7. So my fraction is 7, 6. I'm going to add 3 and 5 and get 8. Okay, so right now I have an answer of negative 8 and 7, 6. Okay, I recognize that this is an improper fraction, so I got to take a number out and add it, add one to the eight, so it's going to be negative nine. And I've taken um, six pieces from the seven, and I'm left with one. So it'll be nine and one six. 
with my um, final answer for the problem. Let's take a look here at problem number six. Okay, so problem number six it has subtraction, we're going to add opposite, right? And then it's, it's stack it since it's addition, it doesn't matter the order. So we're going to take three and one twelve plus five and two thirds. Now negative plus a negative, and our answer is going to be negative. Okay, and then we got to come up with a common denominator of 12, our, excuse me, 12 is a multiple of 3, so we can stay with the 12. This will be 1, 12, and then here, we'll take it times 4 to get 12, and this times 4 will give us 12 as well. Okay, so that will give us, I'm sorry, 2 times 4 is 8. Right now, we're going to take 1 plus 8 and get 9. And 3 plus 5 is 8. So we get negative 8 and 9 twelfths. Okay, 9 and 12, the GCF between them is uh, 3. If we divide by 3, we're going to get 3 fourths. So our final answer is negative 8 and 3 fourths. It's in the simplest form. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and do the problems, the practice problems at the bottom, and then unpause the video, and then you can check your work. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Okay, here are your answers to those problems. Um, that number seven is one twelve. Number eight is negative five and one fifteen. Nine is nine eleven twentieths, and ten is negative six and seventeen. Okay. Um, write down any questions that you have for tomorrow, uh, and so we can go over in tomorrow in class. We're going to be working a couple couple days here with this adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing fractions. I know it's a little more um, involved with the negative. It's just going to take us some practice time. So, uh, thank you for doing your homework, and have a good night. Bye.